Hi there. In this video, we will apply the sum difference rule on an economic function, which is the cost function. It's a numerical example. And here we will use both sum and difference rules of differentiation. Here we have a cost function where it is a function of output and it is a cubic function as the degree of the equation is three. So this is the cubic function that we have for the cost. Now, what we are try trying to do is to find out the marginal cost in the first step because when we do, we have to do the differentiation of it and that will call for sum and difference rule because here we have a negative sign and here we have a positive sign and again we have a positive sign. So this means that sum rule in these two cases and difference rule in this case will be applied. So we are going to differentiate it with respect to Q and here we have the derivative on the right hand side as well as we took it on the left hand side. The first term when we differentiate it and then we differentiate the second and the third and the fourth terms. Just for the reminder that when we have a function which is composed of sub functions and they have different signs like minus and plus we will be able to use the sum and difference rule which simply requires us to separately differentiate those sub functions and then retain their signs and the signs they will be retained. So here the first term is Q cube and its derivative will be found minus sign will be retained and 4 Q square its derivative plus sign will be retained 10 Q its derivative plus sign will be retained and the derivative of the constant that is 75. So here the difference rule, here the sum rules have been applied. Now we can do this differentiation. We know that the derivative of the cost function is the rate of change of cost function, which means that it is the marginal cost function. We can also write it like this because this is the first derivative of the cost function. And if we place two here, it will be the second derivative of the cost function which will show the slope of marginal cost function. Right now we are interested in marginal cost function only. And here we have the result of it. Q Q when differentiated becomes 3 Q square. 4 Q square becomes 8 Q. And 10 Q becomes 10. And 75 reduces to 0. Now this is the final answer of the marginal cost curve. Once we have this, we can plot this and try to understand that how it has uh, been related with the output. So here we have made a simple table and Q is the independent variable. MC is the dependent variable. If we place 0 in place of uh, Q in all of these places, we will get a certain answer and that will be 10. If we place 1 in place of Q, then we will have 5 as the answer. So you can experiment with this. You can come up with all of these values by simply substituting the values of Q in the marginal cost function. This is the marginal cost function and when we plot this graph it will look something like this. You can see that the marginal cost is having a positive slope which is a variable slope. As you can see slope is 0 here but here it is positive and it is also there and perhaps increasing by a certain rate. So it's showing an increase in an increasing fashion and uh, we can say that this is the um, depiction of the graph of marginal cost curve that we usually make. Here we have made it on the basis of a table which was based upon the substitution in the marginal cost function and this marginal cost function is uh, obtained by taking the derivative of the cost function in which we applied the sum and difference rules. And this was the original function and finally we have found the value of the marginal cost function by applying sum and difference rules together. Thank you.